Who is the most intimidating person that I've ever met? By accident, I would say I wasn't planning on meeting him. He just happened to be walking down a hallway in Las Vegas. Mike Tyson. Okay, and so just before you even, you know, just to get into it, um, 5'11", close to 6 foot. I'm not going to say I'm 6 foot because I'm not. 250 pounds. I'm a pretty decent sized guy. Most people are smaller than me by 100 pounds. And, um, you know, I've been in fights. I've gotten hit in the head with a crowbar, fractured my skull. I finished that fight, fucked the dude up. I've got hit in the face working at Fibber McGee's in Wilmington, North Carolina, Wrightsville Beach with a bottle, busted my eye, fucking threw that dude on a fucking on a bunch of bikes, um, you know, being a bouncer, being a corrections officer, just being a big dude, um, you know, just sparring, mixed martial arts, boxing, jiu-jitsu, I got my neck fucking broke, um, doing jiu-jitsu, cracked three vertebrae on my neck, my friend did, because I didn't tap, um, so I'm not really afraid of people, people don't intimidate me, most men are cowards anyway, so, even the guys that are bluffing you and trying to act tough, if you just fucking just go, whatever, I'm just not worried about it. Do you know what I mean? I've gotten attacked with knives. I've seen a guy get stabbed in front of me. I fucking, um, I've had, I broke that up. I got the dude. I fucking slammed him, got him in the rear naked choke, got the fucking knife, all that shit. You know, I don't run from trouble. I've had guns pulled on me in Buffalo. I had a guy pull a gun on me, point it right at my face. And I quickly gave him $50. <laughs> but uh, Mike Tyson I met in Las Vegas in 2000 at the convention center. He just happened to come out of a room and he started walking towards me. And I'm telling you, the only time I've ever gotten like an adrenaline dump or fucking weak in the knees was seeing Mike Tyson. And this was crazy fucking Mike Tyson. Crazy Mike Tyson. Okay? Crazy. And I literally turned around and acted like I was on this little cricket Nokia cell phone. And my dad's like, why didn't you ask him for an autograph? I was like, because this is before cell phones and selfies and shit. I was like, you're out of your fucking mind. This was when Mike Tyson was beating the fuck out of people. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any cool videos, ideas, or things you want me to talk about, whether it's mixed martial arts, UFOs, sobriety, spiritual spirituality, you know, whatever, let me know. Even you fucking little nerds in the comments that don't even have your picture in the screen grab, I appreciate you guys watching me and um, trying to hate on me because I would slap you in fucking person. Do you know what I mean? You're just a little robot to me. You're nothing. You're probably at home right now with your Easy Bake Oven playing with dolls and your sister probably fucking bosses you around or you're like most corrections officers I've worked with you're pussy whooped at home, but you're tough at work, okay? You're probably fucking an incel, all right? You guys, quit playing video games. Get laid once in a while. Go out and enjoy the fucking day, all right?